Welcome back. Now, finally, in this session, in every session, uh, you're going to need to save your G code. Now, this is a very important part, but I will only be showing it in this uh, session, in the first tutorial. And the reason for this is uh, for the version X4 that I have, it's a home learning edition. So the only thing I cannot do is generate the G code. So I do have a full version of X2, and therefore I'm going to show you how to do that in X2. It's the same exact way in X4. There's nothing different. There's nothing has been changed actually since version X. So I'm just going to show it to you. So this is only the only video tutorial you will see in X2. So if you come up here, you'll see X2 over here. And I opened up a part called Impeller. This is already a demo in X2. And uh, an example, basically. So it's already got all my machining and everything going. Well, all I'm going to do is come over here to select all. And then come over here to G1. And left click on G1. And you're going to see this dialog box appears. This is where you, uh, there's different options for your NC file. Uh, you want to make sure edit is uh, highlighted. Dot NC in the extension. And then ask also is highlighted as well. And what that does is make sure it asks before overriding any NC file you've already made. Edit allows you to edit the file right after you process it. So go ahead and click on the OK. And then go ahead and save it. As you can see, I already have an impeller.nc file. And I'm just going to go ahead and override it with the same file. So go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to say Yes to override. Now it's going to generate my G code for me. I'm going to minimize this to fit my screen. And this is your G code. Now you're all familiar with this if uh, you're a CNC programmer and you've done this by hand. Now in this one, you're going to notice that all the uh, comments we've placed in our toolpath are going to be in green. So somebody else, they may, they may come back and uh, try to read through this program will know what's going on by your comments. So that's why comments are very helpful. And you should get a good uh, mindset on always uh, placing comments in your tools with your toolpaths. You can see X, Y, and Z are all different colors, so you can uh, differentiate through them. And this is your editor. Now, this is Mastercam X editor. This means you can actually edit your code before you save it for the final time. So if there's anything in here that you don't like or you would like the tool to make and you would like to do it manually, you can do it manually and then come over here and press the save button and it will save your final uh, G code. And there you go. I'm going to exit out of here. And you've just learned how to create your NC file, which is the biggest thing, your you know, reason you're going to be using Mastercam is for that file. Without that file, there's no reason Mastercam is to be used. Uh, this file, you will take that file and place it in your machine, basically, and upload it to your machine to get your machining to work. Now, one big, very important thing to remember, you always make sure your origin point in, the NC, in Mastercam is going to be the same origin point in your machine. You do not you don't want your machine or tool to be crashing anywhere. There we go and we are finished with uh, chapter 1.